Hi and welcome to Drummer's Review. I'm Nolly and today we're going to be taking a look at three snare drums from Bristol Drum Co. Bristol Drum Co is a fairly new company on the UK custom drum scene and they specialize in handcrafted segmented shell snare drums made from indigenous and exotic timbers. The three drums we have here today are all of a 14 inch diameter. Specifically we've got a 5 inch deep ash and beach with Wenge band snare which retails at 599. We've got a five and a half inch deep Wenge and Purple Heart snare, also at 599. And finally, we have a four inch deep Harlequin snare, which is made from segments of Ash, Beach, Babinga, Teak, Iroko, Purple Heart, Wenge, and Zebrano. The Harlequin snare has eight lugs, triple flange hoops, and comes fitted with an Evans G1 batter head. This one retails at 549, whereas the other two snare drums come with 10 lug S hoops and are fitted with an Evans Genera dry batter head. Having heard these snares back to back in a groove context, let's put them all alongside each other and hear how they sound in a couple of different tuning ranges.
All three of these drums show off their respective timbers wonderfully, with the Ash and Wenge snares looking pin sharp, while the Harlequin snares patchwork aesthetic demands closer inspection. We love those wood logo plates that Bristol Drum Co use, and we certainly felt that the tube lugs were a good choice to complement the clean, natural look of the shells without overwhelming them. Moving on to how they sounded, as you'd expect from a four inch deep drum, the Harlequin snare was really bright, snappy, and articulate. Funnily enough, we liked it most in its lower range where its inherent dryness carried through, despite the use of an unmuffled single ply head. As we applied more tension, we found ourselves wanting to reach for a bit of muffling or perhaps to move to a thicker drum head to prevent things from getting too thin sounding. The included magnetic dampener looked ideal for the job until we actually tried it and found that anything above a medium soft hit causes it to bounce far too high or even double back completely. So unless you're really one of the lightest handed drummers out there, you're probably gonna find yourself using your more conventional muffling techniques on this drum. By comparison, the ash snare was extremely dry, no doubt largely in part to the use of that Genera dry head. We enjoyed the clarity of this snare in its mid tuning and also found that the rim shot was particularly cutting. The very short sustain gives a crisp and clean character and we certainly can't imagine many drummers needing to dampen it further, either live or in the studio. As much as we enjoyed the Ash snare, we felt that the Wenge snare really stole the show during this review. It's got a thicker punch, and while it's still got a dry, short voice, it just felt like it had a little bit more life to it. This one was our favorite across all tuning ranges, and we can imagine it being perfect for drummers out there who want an articulate but beefy sounding wood snare in their arsenal. While we played these drums, we couldn't help feeling that perhaps the stock head choices were a little bit unfavorable. Uh, we feel like perhaps a single ply reverse stock head could be a good choice across the board, it would prevent that harlequin snare from being too ringy, while it would also allow a bit more of the natural character of the other two snares to come through than the head that's currently fitted. Build quality wise, these shells are really beautifully put together. You can tell they've been very lovingly crafted. Unfortunately though, we did find that the tension rod operation was really stiff on these drums. I think they could use perhaps a little bit more lubrication and also a plastic washer instead of the metal on metal contact. We're noticing we're getting quite a lot of creaking and squeaking as we started to apply much tension above a mid tuning. Unfortunately, this was even worse on the ash snare where the tension rod's completely locked up, not much higher than about mid-high tuning. We're certainly not reaching the limit of what the head can do. And you might even notice that in the high tuning example, it's tuned a little bit lower than the other two drums just because we couldn't physically get it any higher than that. We feel like issues like this and the aforementioned impractical dampener are a real shame, especially alongside such awesome shell construction and finish. Perhaps it would be a good idea to get some gigging pros, road test some drums, and come back with some feedback in order to iron out oversights like these to ensure that these beautiful drums get to be heard and enjoyed as much as they deserve to be. On the positive though, these three drums all feature the DW Mag throw-off system, which we think is superb. It's smooth, dependable, and totally up to the task at hand. We think that there'll probably always be a market for locally hand-built wooden snare drums here in the UK. And with so many players and collectors actively on the lookout for new companies to support, Bristol Drum Co shouldn't have a hard time finding themselves in demand. At 550 to 600 pounds, these certainly aren't cheap instruments, but that hand-executed segmented shell construction is certainly time-consuming, so it's easy to imagine how the man-hours would add up to a cost like this. If the issues that we've highlighted could be refined and perfected, we'd feel them to be well-priced for serious players and collectors. Having got this far, we'd love to know your thoughts, so please leave us a comment on the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to be notified of future content, and I'll see you next time at Drummer's Review.